Hello, I'm your instructor, Katie Graham. I just wanted to make a video to give a personal hello. This is me. I'm the person here to support you this quarter and just really uh, give a few tips for success that are in your syllabus, but I really want to drive home the importance of just so there's no questions about it. I love teaching math because I think a lot of people get scared of it and it's really not something we have to be afraid of. It might not be something that comes natural to you, but that doesn't mean you can't get there. And my goal is to make it a little less overwhelming or intimidating. But that my success relies on your participation in that. So my number one recommendation is be proactive in your own success. I can't make you do the tasks. I can't make you do the homework on time. I can't make you finish this work in one to two quarters. I can't make you go to the tutoring center or check out YouTube videos. I'm just here to support you. So if you really do wanna succeed, get through this conquer math, you got to do the work and do it in order because everything builds off one another. So use the resources available to you for your own success. When those resources still are a little funky and not making complete sense to you, then reach out to me and then let me take care of it. The other thing is you have two quarters to complete all this math work. I know life is busy. You probably have other classes. So the idea of getting all of the tasks, homework tests completed in the 10 week time period might not be doable. That's why we give you two consecutive quarters to finish. So just remember, the more you do the first quarter, the less that's left in the second quarter to finish off. I have people who are like, oh, they do a little in the first and then they have to finish in the last, the second quarter and they don't leave themselves any time and then they don't complete the work and have to start over again. And that's just a waste of everybody's time. So get this done in two quarters because when you finish it, then you can move on to your next math level. Also, credit enrollment. Just because you're enrolled in this math class doesn't mean you're enrolled for the high school credit. That comes during week eight. And what we do is we look at the students who, have, who are on track and have completed pretty much all the assignments that have been given up to that date and have a 70% or better. If the student is meeting those conditions, we put them on the credit report and then they get signed up to be earning high school 21 credit. So, if you are maybe in week three's worth of work, we're not gonna give you, we're not gonna be signing you up for the credit. Maybe the last two weeks of the quarter, you bust out all of the assignments. Guess what? You weren't on the credit report to earn the official high school credit. So you have to wait till the following quarter to do it. So stay on track, stay on time. If you do bust out all the work, great. If you already not, you automatically have the credit for next quarter. But don't be surprised when we're like, eh, we can't get you credit this, this quarter because you didn't meet this week eight deadline. And if you're not sure, reach out to your instructor, not just me, any other instructor you have, double check, are you on the credit report? And the last thing is, view my announcements. I make, I try to make one maybe once a week, um, once every other week, and it just lets you know about those important dates. The credit enrollment deadline, um, changes that I might have made, or a piece of information I'd forgotten to tell you that I want everybody to be aware of. Check my announcements. Uh, it's very frustrating when I have students say, well, how do I get to this? And I just think, I told you in the announcements. So watch the announcements and all will be made clear. Uh, beyond that, good luck. When you're struggling with something, reach out. Maybe I can give you some suggestions or just be there to support you, maybe help you manage uh, the priorities of the tasks and assignment that you have to complete. So I look forward to working with you this quarter.